right into you there, darling. It's Black History Month. It's my month. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you liked my little um, intro. It was just a little cute little um, moment to say happy Black History Month. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Um, I feel like the years past have been leading up to this year. I don't know why, but this Black History Month just feels more seen and kind of heard. I'm just super excited and I just wanted to say happy Black History Month. I got this shirt from my friend's clothing line. It says I am Black History. I'll link his clothing line down at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say happy Black History Month to all of my Black brothers and sisters. Um, and yeah, let's get into this video. So today I decided that I was going to do something a little different. The video that I originally had planned for this week is not happening because Cheryl is doing a lot, okay? But we are gonna keep it rolling with the content because I said I wanted to be more active this year. I need to put out awesome content Plus, I just have to be consistent. This is me trying that. Um, I don't know if you guys all know. If you're new to my channel, then you don't know that I have two puppies. I have a Shih Tzu and I have a Yorkie Poo. And this is me doing what's in their bag haul. Oh. Is it a is it considered a haul? Basically, we're just doing what's in their bag. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I got this bag. I did a um, what I got for my pets uh, video, and I'll link that below. Hensley's barking, if you can hear him in the back. Um, and I got this bag from Walmart, and it just works out that I can put both of my dog's belongings in it because it's it's super cute. It's The pink is, yeah, the main attraction, so I got this originally for Sophia. But the green-blue aspect you know, makes me feel like I can also put Hens Hensley stuff in this. Plus, I'm wearing the bag, so it just works out. So, I'll go from the first zipper. Um, in the first pouch is my headphones. Um, so, just in case if I'm on a walk with them or whatever like that, and I forget to bring my AirPods or my other set of headphones, I have their headphones with me. Um, so in the second pouch is snacks for my dog. So I just wanted to show you guys their two favorites. Um, they love these Lil Champ soft and moist training treats, tasty pork recipe. Um, these are super, super yum, yum for them. Um, these are beneficial, especially cause they are training treats. So nine times out of 10, I'm like, Hensley stop or Sophia sit. And these um, pair really well with training for sure. So if you're trying to train your pet, I totally recommend these. These are the AKC brand, American Kennel Club. Um, so yeah, I would try them out. And then another um, snack that we uh, feed the pets are these hip and joint um, dog treats. Now, these are by Supreme Quality Pet Foods, um, the Healthy Max. Now, so Yorkies typically have issues with their joints, their hips, things of that nature. So it's just really beneficial to have these snacks that are not only good for my dog, but also he likes. Um, and then Sophia gets these every now and then too because she is a Shih Tzu. And um, sometimes they have issues with their joints too, just because they're smaller dogs, you know? So I just wanna make sure I'm keeping my dogs healthy and taken care of, but then they're also enjoying their treats. And then also in this, I have extra collars because you just never know. So for Hensley, we have this cute bow tie collar. For Sophia, we have this cute unicorn and like um, rainbow and diamond, different 
you know, multi-patterned collar. And then I have a blue leash and a pink leash for Sophia, um, which is really cool. Um, I have toys for the pets. So this has a little squeaky squeaky sensation going on. And then this is just for like teething ring and things like that uh, for the dogs to play with. I also have this portable um, playpen, which is so important if you have a little pup and you're not wanting your puppy to get all over the place. You just want to have them kind of confound in like one area. Um, I totally recommend these uh, portable playpens. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, when you have puppies, Hit it, be quiet! Hit it, be quiet! My dog is loud. Hit it! You guys, he's barking for no reason. <sighs> because he wasn't gonna stop barking. So I had to take a little break. I took a little breakity break. I re-upped on my lip gloss and I took a sip of my drink. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they just help you control your puppy a little bit more. And lastly, in the final little zipper, I have a blanket. You never know if you need a blanket on the go. I typically try to keep one of these um, in everything that they have. So in their car seat, in their little travel bag, and also in their backpack. Just because you don't know if you're going to ever need it. Um, I usually also have wipes in my dog bag, but I am out of them. So when I go to the store, I'm going to get me some new um, dog wipes. And then also I keep an outfit for them in their bag or a jacket. This is what it's looking like. And this is Sophia's. It's literally the same, just a girl version plus smaller. Um, so yeah, I love that. And then I also keep a little puppy pad, especially if I'm on the go. But she does really good and she does not make accidents or anything like that when we go out in public. So that's a blessing. Also, I have these portable um, food trays for my pups. So these I got from the Dollar Tree and they're literally perfect. I bought my sister one for her dog, uh, Moana, and we literally are like obsessed with these. Like these are perfect. And then the last thing that I have are these cute portable water bottles that I found from Amazon. Literally obsessed with these. So you put the water in here, you use this little flap to let the water come out for the dog to drink, and then you push the flap back so that the water goes right back into this little case. You can also put little snacks or treats or anything like that at this bottom area. And you can kind of hear that we already have something in there. Um, and yeah, these are just super fun. You can clip them on a backpack or you can put them inside a backpack, clip them on a belt bag, whatever the case may be. And yeah, they're just super beneficial. All right, well that is the end of what I have in my dog bag. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you personally have in your dog bag that you didn't see me have in mine, please comment that down below. I would love to find more awesome things to place in my dog bag so that we can be super, super super protected um but yeah if you liked anything that i have or you know whatever the case may be if you're needing a link or whatever like that also comment that down below and also if you have a puppy um please comment your puppy and your puppy's age my puppy sophia just turned six months yesterday thanks for watching i will see you guys back on my channel next week and i hope you have a productive awesome awesome february love you guys